Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I just want to take this moment that I just finished recording my video about the Devolo Magic 2 and if you haven't watched that video just check the link down below for it but I want to answer a question that has been asked on the channel several times and uh, while I'm with these Devolo Powerline adapters on my hand I want to share with you the info which is how much power does a power adapter consume? And of course, this will be an average. And I did measure, and I'll show you guys in just a few moments, the average here is about five watts in terms of power consumption for each of these devices. And if we do some calculations here, in one day we will spend 120 watts, and in one month we will spend roughly 3.6 kilowatts, and in one year it will give us 43 kilowatts which where i live it will give us more or less 8.6 euros now if we have a lot of them then it might be a concern because at the end of the year it will add up but in my opinion guys it is an acceptable value having in mind that the five watts is the maximum that i could measure because if we are not using them they will go to sleep and they will spend a little bit less if we turn off the leds which is optional they will spend even a little bit less so the five watts is the maximum that we will spend in terms of usage now one thing that i would also like to share guys is that at this moment uh, i'm also changing a few things here at home in terms of the power consumption and where i can avoid unnecessary uh, power losses and also where i can invest to prevent more losses if this makes any sense and before i go a little bit further with that point i would like to mention here for example that one of these uh, will spend five watts and you can't see on this angle but i've got an old monitor right over here which i use for my uh, security system cameras and that monitor alone spends 40 watts so if we do a quick calculation and if i leave that monitor over and over day and night which i don't need to leave it day and night but sometimes i forget it and i leave it then if i leave it for a few nights it will consume the equivalent of eight of these devices for almost one year so guys the point is that we have to be efficient uh, to save the planet and to save or try to save the planet or try not to damage the planet uh, more than already is but also to save some money the point is that we need to make some choices so if i have to choose and disconnect that display to be able to balance the uh, equation here and have these devices connected then i will of course if you ask me hey robert but i have ethernet cables on my house do i need power line adapters no you don't if you have the cables then okay unless besides the cable you want a strong wi-fi signal then this is a great option as you could see on the last video another example i've got a mini hi-fi right over there connected to my speakers that alone uh, is spending 30 to 36 watts per hour so just imagine that i leave my monitor and that hi-fi which don't need to be always connected we are talking about 70 watts and that is a lot compared with the five that we had the ideal would be that these would not uh, spend 5 watts and those didn't spend 40 and 30 but the truth is that they all spend and we'll have to balance this i am trying um, to be able to be more efficient in terms of energy i just finished uh, installing this past weekend well i didn't install a team that knows exactly what they were doing installed one thing on my roof which is to get hot water from the sun i'm not sure about in english the technical name but i will share with you guys a few images and you will be able to uh, see what it is but it is a solar panel siphon on the top which will keep the water warm so i will save in this particular case not electricity because i use gas but i will save gas and in a few months i will share with you guys how much i'm saving and although it's a type of technology that i'm not an expert far from that i'm really curious to know how things work and i will share as best as i can all the info that i get to that side of the screen which is one of the things that i love to do and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful at least for those of you that are curious like myself uh what power consumption we have right over here in this type of device and of course think about all the devices that you have don't forget i don't have it here right now but there are smart plugs that are very cheap and we can use them to calculate what we are spending because once we step on the uh, weight balance and we see how much we weight we will be concerned hey i probably 
am drinking and eating too much. So I will have to do something. And the same will happen with the power consumption. If we measure that our TV is spending 80 or 100 watts, if we make the calculations, then we will go to the kitchen and probably we are going to shut down the TV for one hour or two hours that we aren't watching. And those are the kind of efforts that I do believe that once we get used to them, they will be easy to do. And at the end of the month, at the end of the year, instead of paying the electricity bill, we can get our kids and our wife and go to have a free meal <laughs> based on the savings that we did on the electricity. That is it, guys. Don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.